The Large is a 2020 psychological thriller about a father, Richard, who recently gets divorced from his wife, who actually is played by Alicia Silverstone. So we get a cameo from Alicia Silverstone. Haven't seen her for a while, actually. I'm not sure what she's been in lately. I'm clueless. Richard has a new girlfriend, Grace, who he's going to be marrying in the near future and decides to take his two children, Mia and Aiden, to a lodge for the holiday weekend uh, over Christmas and also take Grace with him. Figuring it might be a good way for Grace to get to know the children and the children can start to accept Grace as the new mother. Before departing for the lodge, the children do a bit of investigating and the father, who is a psychologist slash author, did a book on Grace and it turns out Grace is actually the sole survivor of a mass ritual suicide from some sort of religious sect slash cult. And they find all these articles about her and start reading up about her. The father knows exactly what her past is and it seems like he's in some sort of obsessive state where he wants to almost showcase his rehabilitation of this victim from something terrible, but I guess falling in love with her in the process. Maybe he's just one of those weirdos like when serial killers are in jail and these women send them letters and they marry them and go visit them. And for some reason, they're just attracted to sinister, tormented, sick people. Whatever the case may be, they arrive at the lodge and this is where things get a little bit strange and you have to have quite a suspension of disbelief. So Grace has just met the children for the first time. The father has to work for two nights and and plans to return to the lodge on Christmas day. Now, now he's fully aware of Grace's violent, troubled, sinister past and somehow decides to trust her with the children alone for two days. It's kind of a mistake straight away. And what kind of father does that? I mean, fair enough if you fall in love with her for whatever reason. Why? Like, she's just met the children. Isn't it a bit too soon for this strange woman with a tormented past to actually spend two days alone with the kids? There are a few moments like that where you have to really have a suspension of disbelief. Otherwise, the movie would never have progressed to the lodge. You'd be like, no, that wouldn't happen. What sort of father is that? How come this happened? It just wouldn't be possible in real life. So you have to have a suspension of disbelief. The writing there, I think, was a little bit weak. There are even scenes where a gun doesn't go off at a certain time, but then when it's pointed at someone else, it goes off magically. Like, what was it? Just some sort of faulty bullet? It just, it makes no sense. Why wouldn't it go off at a certain time and then go, off at another time but it's small things like this that you have to really have that strong suspension of disbelief but otherwise the movie shot very well the tension is definitely there it's definitely a slow burn movie if you don't like slow burn movies like hereditary midsummer just really slow build up films that build up the tension and keep you guessing then this isn't for you it's a psychological thriller that's slow burn shot beautifully acted very well the tension is there however it lacks in the realism and you have to really have that strong suspension of disbelief and the there's no big payoff at the end i was extremely disappointed with the end here for a movie that's slow like this and has to build up that tension, it's basically relying on a big payoff at the end. And for me personally, I just felt like it definitely wasn't there. One other negative I have is that it was actually quite predictable, especially when it gets to a certain stage. It's like, you know what's going to happen. You're just waiting for it to happen. It happens. The movie ends. There's no big twist, really. There are a couple twists in the movie. There are, there are some shocking moments, especially at the start. Something happens, but I can't say what it is. Otherwise, it'll just ruin everything. It, you're better off just putting this movie on and just having that shock factor for yourself. I'm not going to say what it is. Nice little shock at the start. There's a bit of a twist about three quarters of the way through but then once you realize what's actually happening the rest is very predictable and it really needed that big payoff and maybe one final twist that you don't see coming at the end but it just never comes so angry joe scored this movie a one out of ten and i usually trust his reviews which is why i'm so delayed in watching it i didn't watch it because of pretty much his negative review he he gave it a one out of ten it's not a one out of ten at all. Joe and his friends were obviously expecting a horror movie, not a psychological thriller, because that's what they said. They kept calling it horror and saying, this isn't a horror. No, it's not a horror. It's a psychological thriller. And if you're expecting a psychological thriller and you like those types of movies, then you'll appreciate what, what this movie does. Those guys 
don't like psychological thrillers, and they even said they don't like slow burn movies. So they're two th main things, main, main aspects about this film. So of course they're going to dislike it. There's a lot of things that they said that I agree with. However, the journey throughout the film is quite good. There is a shocking moment at the start. Nice twists three quarters of the way in and definitely agree the ending is silly and the suspension of disbelief uh, pushes it a little bit too far. It's a bit too unrealistic in, in, in certain areas. It's like, why? Why would you do it? Why would the father leave his children alone with this person to begin with? Fully knowing her past, which probably wasn't even that long ago. So she clearly wouldn't even be healed from it all. She's she's obviously got issues from it all. With someone with such a violent history, you would not leave alone with your children. That's the main one that sticks out for me. But nonetheless, the movie is quite enjoyable, especially if you like slow burn movies, which I do. So I have to give this a 9 out of 13. It's definitely worth a watch, but like I said, no big payoff, which was much needed in my opinion. And some parts of the movie are just very, very difficult to believe. So if you can switch off and have that suspension of disbelief, then you'll definitely appreciate it. Check it out for yourselves and tell me what you think in the comments below. Until next time, stay creepy everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video video.